All right, everybody, welcome back. We are now on level two. Um, and once again, I'm going to start over so that we start with a clean slate. All right, I should probably do that before I start recording, but that's okay. Um, all right, so uh, flex grow. The flex grow property specifies how much a flex item will grow relative to the rest of the flex items. The last item stretches to fill the remaining space. Item three below has flex grow set to five, which means it will grow up to five times more than the other items or until the container is filled. Do this. Give the third child item a class attribute of grow. All right, let's start there. So one, two, three, class attribute, class equals grow. Fabulous. All right, um, add a rule in the CSS file for the third child item using its class attribute as a selector. All right, so here we go. Grow. Um, give the third child item a flex grow, so flex grow property of five. There we go. Resize the preview window to see the change size accordingly. To the left, to the right. All right. So there we go. Easy but cheesy, lemon squeezy. Um, we are done with level two. Uh, remember, you we do have the help and tips. Uh, so if you need to, you can go find out much more about Flexbox Children Properties. In fact, that looks a lot like that. Check that out. Children Properties, Order, Align, Sell, Flex, Grow, Flex, Shrink. Order align self, flex grow, flex shrink. So even if you lose your resource that I printed out and gave to you and told you to put in your binder, you still have access to everything I gave you by looking at the help and tips. There we go. All right. Um, and so the other thing to point out, as always, is the show me how to get started. If you click on this, it shows a fun little movie that shows you exactly what to type and where to type it. Okay, perfection. All right, um, so we are going to move on to level three. I will see you there. Let's make sure we click the orange finish button. All right, here we go.